Are we recording? Yeah, Chris is on now. Hi, Chris. Well, he's I'm admitting him now. All right, you should be able to hear us now. You're recording? Yeah. Hi, Chris. You're muted, Chris. There you You're go. muted, but that's okay. <laughs> hey, this morning we're just going to review a day one. I'm going to role play it for you. This is for the chiropractors. So um, you're not going to use all of it, but use as much as you can. You'll just have to cut a few parts out that don't apply to you. Okay? Sounds good. All right. And then, um, I'm just going to go through the whole thing, so we're not going to dissect it, and we're going to try and keep it to about 15 minutes or less, because that's the ideal amount of time. Um, so let's jump in. Sounds good. Sorry I'm late. No problem. Hi, Brianna. Hi. How was your adjustment last time? It was great. I felt really good. No soreness at all? Nope. Good. That's what we were hoping for. Now, I had the chance to review your x-rays. And they definitely confirm that you have a bulging disc in your lower back. Oh. That's what's causing all your pain, okay? Okay. Any questions about that? I don't think so. We're going to talk about how that heals in just a second. But for right now, I want to let you know we can definitely help you with this problem. Good. And the game plan right at this moment is what I'd like to do is do three more adjustments close together. Do one today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. And we want to do that for two reasons. Number one is we want to get you out of pain as fast as we possibly can. You've got inflammation in your back, and the best way to control that inflammation and get rid of it is to do adjustments close together like that. The second reason is I've never worked with you before, so I don't know how fast you're going to heal. And if we do these adjustments by Wednesday, I'm going to have a really good idea of exactly what it's going to take to get you all the way back to normal or as close to normal as your body will allow. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I want to talk about money for just a second, if that's okay. Sure. Um, with your insurance, um, they're not going to cover anything. So you have a $45 per visit cost. So that's going to be $115, um, or 100, sorry, 105, no. What's 45 yeah. times three? 135. 135. So it's going to be $135 for today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. Is that okay? I think that should be fine for right now. Okay. You don't have any concerns about that? No, not 135. Correct. Okay. Fine. Yeah. And then on Wednesday, we'll go over any other financial commitment when we go over treatment plans That'd and stuff like great. that. Okay? Yeah. All right. So today I want to talk to you about the healing process that your back is going to go through to get strong again. And I'm just going to explain what happens and what we're going to do. Okay? okay. So let me show you this little model right here. So <clears throat> this is your back. So there's a bone, a disc, and a bone. And your problem is this disc right here. You can see the center is jelly. Mm -hmm. And you have all these rings in it. And your problem is those rings are made of ligaments. And the ligaments are torn. Remember your, your gymnastics accident when you were a kid, the first time you hurt your back? Yeah, that's when you tore this disc, okay? And then it didn't heal very good. And that's how a couple of weeks ago when you were just laying on the couch, you got up and you hurt your back. You actually retore the same spot that you tore when you were a kid. Because getting off the couch won't tear a healthy disc. But if you had a weak spot from an old injury, it would tear that. Hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to explain how this healed wrong and how we're going to make it heal the right way. Okay? Any questions so far? No. Nope. Okay. And then, so this is your back. Here, and I'm going to, here's the bone. Looks like that. And here's the other bone. And then your disc is right here. And can you see on here... Remember, the, the rings are made of ligaments. Mm -hmm. And if you look on the front, do you see how they run diagonally like that? Yeah. They all run the same direction. So the ligaments run like this. And then the next ring, because they were in rings, they run like this. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, these, and, and your problem is you've got tears in them. So you just basically ripped them. They popped. And do you remember the three stages that I taught you last time, the three stages of healing? 
Yes. What were they? So the inflammation phase. Yep, you've got inflammation. <clears throat> and the repair phase. You're awesome. And then and remodel. remodel phase. So when you tear this, you start in the inflammation phase. Do you remember what I taught you about the inflammation phase? <clears throat> well, I told you a couple of three details about the inflammation phase that I wanted you to remember. Uh, okay, so just how long we'd be in the phase? Yeah, do you remember how long it is? Um, I think it should be only a few days, right? One to three yeah. days. And remember, you kept stretching your back, mm -hmm. and you've been in the inflammation phase for two weeks. And in the inflammation phase, you're supposed to rest, and you weren't mm -hmm. doing that, and that's okay. why you're still in pain. Right. Makes sense? Okay. And your job is, you know, the rule is, stop doing things that stretch and irritate damage good mm -hmm. so you got it okay. and inflammation also means pain you only have pain when you're in the inflammation phase so we know you're still in the inflammation phase because you're still in pain mm -hmm. and then the last thing i want you to remember about the inflammation phase is um i'm not sure it's bad <laughs> not just because it hurts but the longer, when you're in the inflammation phase, the acidity deteriorates even the healthy tissue. So the fact that you've been in the inflammation phase for two weeks means your body is continuing to do further and further and further damage. And what's scary is we have people, you've had pain off and on for years, and every time you're in pain, you're further degrading <clears throat> the healthy parts of the disc, making the problem worse and worse. And you've noticed that over the years, it's been getting worse and worse mm -hmm. and worse. That's from all the inflammation. So we always hate pain. We hate inflammation and it's bad. Okay. Okay. Any questions about the inflammation phase? No. Nope. Okay. Today we're going to be talking about the repair phase and the repair phase. It lasts about now you're, you're, you're 55 years old. So the inflammation phase for you is going to be about 10 weeks long, right around that time frame. could be a little longer, a little shorter, and you've been in it a long time. So it's probably going to be a little longer. Um, also, this is when your body makes what we call type 3 collagen or scar tissue. And I like to call it duct tape. Okay? It's basically your body's going to patch this hole that you created in your disc with duct tape. Um, now, remember, this, this, these healthy fibers are called type 1 collagen. Everything in your body is made out of collagen. Your college, your hair, skin, everything's strong. Collagen's strong. And the strongest of all the collagen proteins is type 1 collagen. And you got to remember this, okay? Okay. You promise? Try, yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. And this stuff, and all this type 1 collagen is the strongest protein your body makes. And it, it lines them all up in straight lines. And that's because they all pull together. So it makes them incredibly strong, like steel. Now, when your body in the repair phase starts making type 3 collagen, first thing you need to know is the type 3 collagen is only about 70% as strong as type 1. So guess what that means? Probably going to be a little weaker, not, I mean, I'll keep re-injuring it. Just like you have, because it's a weak spot because of the type 3 collagen. And then here's the big problem is your body doesn't lay it down in nice, neat rows. That's not what type 3 looks like when your body makes it. It looks like this. Guess what that means? Huh. It's not good. It is not good. And there's basically four problems with type 3 collagen. And the number one problem is because the fibers aren't lined up, they don't pull together. When the fibers line up together, they pull together, and they, they each work together, and it's crazy strong. So when they don't, there's four negatives of scar tissue. The number one is the decreased strength. Mm -hmm. This spot right now is one-tenth as strong as the original. Mm -hmm which is why you were just laying on the couch and you went to stand up and you tore it because it's very, very weak stuff. And the second problem with type three collagen is it's not very flexible. And I think you remember when we did the exam yesterday, yesterday and you tried to bend backwards and bend to the left. When you bent to the left, it was stiff, it didn't move and it hurt. And if you kept trying to force it like you have in the past, when you stretch it, it tears because it's not very strong, 
but also it's not very flexible. It doesn't stretch very far before it starts to give. Mm -hmm. And then your back hurts and you start this whole cycle all over again. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Any questions about that? Pretty straightforward. Now there's two other problems. This makes sense to people because they go, yeah, I'm not strong and I'm not flexible. Well, this disc has almost no nerve endings in it. Ligaments and tendons don't have a lot of nerves. They don't feel a lot of pain. But when your body makes the scar tissue or the duct tape, it keeps adding new nerves to the area. So when you were young and you hurt your back, it did hurt, but it didn't hurt as much as it does now because it didn't have as many nerves in it. Yeah. And that's why each time 